Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London. Behind me you can see the Aspect Valeting van and behind the van is my car in its factory state. Silver, titanium wheels and black brake calipers with carbon fibre side blades. And Ben, who's over there, Hello. who is again, going, <laughs> again um, if you haven't seen probably the most, the funniest clip from the Supercars of London video is from the first detail. Well, I've got my lips stuck in the bottom. On the Iron Man, yeah. Watch this. Oh, uh, pre-cleanse pre first. Yeah, so just make sure there's no more wax or polish on the vehicle. Um, any cleaning solutions, anything like that for using it. I'll show you the uh, typical oh. cleaner. Mm. Because I said to you earlier, it's imperative that we bond this product to... Um, got my lips stuck in there, I think. Uh, no, I think I'm out of shot. <laughs> I think I'm out of shot. I hope I am. If I'm not, if I'm not, I'll put it in. So the guys are uh, getting ready, getting prepped. What's first, Ben? Uh, first, we'll be um, cleaning the wheels, um, and then after that, we'll be doing a snow foam, which effectively, we probably explained before in previous videos, releases the dirt off the vehicle, it runs off naturally because, like anything, when you're detailing or valid in the car, the most important thing to remember is the less contact as possible. Um, then, after that, we'll be jet washing that off. And then we will be doing a clay bar, which literally releases and removes all the decontamination on the car. So from things like your natural fallout from the air, particles, uh, rust, anything like that you can imagine at all. So it gives the body a good smooth, smooth effect. And then after that, we'll be doing one more cleanse wash down. And then we'll be taping the whole thing up and preparing for a, a two-stage paint correction. So the first one would be a deep cut, which will literally minimise and uh, should get rid of most of the swell marks and light, light marring on the vehicle. And then after that, we'll be doing a stage two, which is effectively a rejuvenation of the bodywork. So this silver colour, so we'll call it like a flaky, flaky pot metallic, is literally just going to ping, um, look really, really glossy, really, really shiny, and just protrude in colour. And then after that, we'll be finishing today with the sealant, and we're also going to apply a Michelin King Rannoch wax for it for ultimate protection, which is going to last it for about a year. So maintenance on this moving forward, so we have a, Owns a vehicle maybe one, yeah. one day in its life later will uh, ease, will have, have it quite easy, so to speak. So, yeah, so a lot to do. Oh, and once we finish that as well, or we'll maybe in the interim of, of myself probably machining it, my manager Chris here will, will potentially be working on the inside so we can get the engine bay clean as well. Oh, just the engine tidy bay. it all up. Yeah, we'll just, yeah the engine bay. We're not going to be steam cleaning it today, but we're going to give it a good clean and a good tidy up just because of time. And then working on the front bonnet and the interior of the vehicle, so getting the mats out, scrubbing them, cleaning them, a bit of wet to dry vac, cleaning, rejuvenating the leather. Um, hydrating the leather, which is very important nowadays, which a lot of people don't do with new cars and used cars because like leather, like natural skin, it can dehydrate and then it unfortunately cracks. So give that a bit of a hydration and more importantly a protection. So yeah, very simple today, mate, for us, <laughs> but probably quite a lot for someone else. So. Yeah, I was literally, I think I switched off about two, two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is going to be happening to this car today. And like I said, aspect valeting, don't do anything by half measures. This is going to be the best R8 out there. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait. a little scrub down in the engine bay that has never been cleaned since I've got the car. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't even think the actual paintwork since I bought the car has had... No, because we first looked at it, didn't when we? When it was when Iron you, Man. When you picked it up and we so snow foamed it when you... I think oh, the first yeah, couple yeah, of that days was you it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We give it a little cleanse and then uh, we went straight to Iron Man and then we did a ceramic on that and, yeah, ceramic, and then uh, Papa Smurf. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> All Action Man Grey. What was your favourite colour? 
Mine? Yeah. Colour what? Colour scheme, to be honest with you, actually I quite like the red wrap originally. Yeah. But once, in all honesty, um, the, uh, the plasti dip, we know Chris anyway, good friends yeah. as well, he finished with that. I think the colour combination with the green, obviously yes. still a little bit on here. Um, it worked it, really, really sad well. Sad that these have to go as well. Yeah, they're off today. Yeah. Unless the, unless the next owner wants to be sponsored by Aspect Balloting as well, <laughs> I'll leave them on. <laughs> This is probably the most work Paul has to actually do today. <laughs> and actually helping me out. Let's just move his car. So is this the... Um, this is just a detail, just getting all the, the, the tar and stuff off. Anything from my, the wheel is this my Euro road trip? Quite possibly, mate. Yeah, it could be anywhere in the UK as well. But um, they're just cars collaborate and just collect a lot of um, time things over their time. As you can imagine, you only need to go over a motorway when they're repairing the road or something. So, oh, yeah. You know, oh, I did do that, actually, when I was doing the... Up. Basically, when I was filming with Auto Trader, we found this road that had like just been resurfaced. It wasn't very good but that was where I reckon all the tars come from. He's going in on the passenger side. This is filthy. And he's making it like brand new. We're giving it a good clean side, put it that way. Giving it a very good clean. This is my side. It's got every single bit of a field. So down the seats compared to that side. Wow. My car is being trod. The clarity in my carbon side blade. So the guys are absolutely smashing it at the moment. We're not even halfway through. And aspect valeting, this is the first time that I think that they've detailed my car. And I'm sure Ben is gonna text me when he sees this video go live and, and maybe I'm getting this information wrong, but this is the first time that the whole of aspect valeting products are all in-house now. So Ben has teamed up with a scientist and a company that create their own aspect valeting products all the way through from glass cleaner, leather cleaner, snow foam, everything. Look, they've got it all here. This is my favorite, the glass cleaner. As you would have seen from the daily vlog, the most satisfying thing in the world to put on. Look at that shine. The camera's doing a good job of picking it up. So the sealant's going on. And then after the sealant. Just one more wax. What say that again? Uh, just finish it off with another wax. Another wax. So we've got a compound, well, I'll say another wax, eight wax. So we've done a full compound polish, two stage polish machine. And then seal it, and then just seal it all in, and then we'll finish with the wax. Excellent, and then it's all about getting the tyres slick, the finishing stuff. Yeah, finishing off the glass, interior, putting a nice air freshener in the car for you, very berry. Oh, lovely. So we'll enjoy the way home, and I'll give you another one so you can keep one for the new one. Get rid of your car wash ones. Look how, glass the gla Look how clear the glass is already. Hey Ben, how are you feeling? Hot. Exhausted, <laughs> as always. Goes with the job, unfortunately. They the have gone it? full steam ahead with this car, and I think when you when you originally said that the silver was gonna pop, I wasn't ex actually expecting it to look how it looks. It's like 
pearlescent metallic silver now. Which is seriously it's cool. Great. And I'll try and zoom in. We're gonna we're gonna spin it round so you get a good view from all round. Exhaust tips have gone back to chrome. And then just over this sort of where the sun's shining on it. You get the coolest effect, the carbon fibre looks unbelievable. And check out check out the interior. Not that you can see much because of the sun, but smells good. Thanks to the new what's it called? Very berry. Very berry. Very berry aspect balloting air freshener. So I park up to get Instagram pictures and I park it in the shadow of this pole. I'm gonna have to move it because that is not how you take a picture but look at it. Look at this paint. Never seen anything like it. Completely different car. So there it is ladies and gentlemen. The stunning metallic Audi Silver with chrome Audi badges to come on front and back. But Ben has worked his magic. Aspect Valeting have worked their magic. See you soon, buddy. Two mad team, are you heading off? Yeah, I'll see you very soon. See you later, thank you very, very much. And off they go, whilst I show you the unbelievable work that these guys have done on the car. The number plate's back on. The exhausts are now chrome. And as they drive off, unbelievable. This is how you look after an Audi R8. I'm blown away by what this colour looks like. Blown away. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a, a factual insight into what goes on to maintain these cars and as this is going for sale, Aspect Valeting made sure that this car was perfect and spotless so that the next owner of the V8 Beast can enjoy it and look after it. So thanks for watching, make sure that you subscribe. I look forward to seeing you very, very soon guys. Um, and I hope you're enjoying all of these videos whilst I'm away in Portugal. Although <laughs> filming this right now, it feels like I'm in Portugal. It is so hot. Time to get a move on and head home. Cheers guys. In bushes. Guys, sport mode is on.